Hello, it's John Tucker with Friend in Roofing. I'm at the International uh, Roofing Expo and wanted to talk with one of the country's foremost uh, ventilation experts, Paul, here about um, IRC code 806.2, which is your net free ventilation era, area. Did I say that right? You did. Okay, um, which I, we see roofers do this wrong all the time. And when you mess this up on a new roof install, your roof is not gonna last as long as it's supposed to. We consistently pull off 30 year architectural class shingles that are 10, 12 years old and they're done, they're gone. And the reason is the previous installer did not install the ventilation correctly, whether they put ridge vents too low in the roofing system or like a front entrance or back entrance of the home. They mixed ventilations where there's like ridge vents on all the ridges, power vents on the roof. You can't mix power vents and static ridge vents. You can't have slant back vents. You can't have turbine vents. You don't mix vents, all right? Pick and choose one option. You mix them up, you're gonna mess up your house. Paul, what are you gonna say about um, net free ventilation? So, uh, thank you, John. So we use this smokehouse to demonstrate that you need both intake and exhaust. So maybe if you switch it and show the smokehouse, I'm about to fill this up. All right, we're turning it on. Smoke. And that smoke is gonna represent heat and moisture buildup in the attic. And you need both intake and exhaust. So right now, if you step back and get a view of the house, you don't see a lot of movement. It's kind of stagnant. That's because I purposely had the intake vents turned off. They're not open. Just like down by your gutter. And now we open up the intake. And if you go back to that perspective, you'll see a little bit of movement, a little bit of movement, more than we had before. But now we're going to introduce some wind with the help of a fan. I like fans. It's good to have an audience. And now when the wind blows, if you get right here, you're going to see the wind hits the vent, hits the external wind baffle, and it's just pumping out of the attic. Well, why call, is the baffle here? It's called the Bernoulli effect. It uses the wind to its advantage. As the wind hits this baffle, it deflects up and over, and it pulls more air out. And it's exactly what gives lift to an airplane. So the message is, you need intake and exhaust. And if you happen to be using a ridge vent, because your roof is suitable for a ridge vent, you want a ridge vent with the external wind baffle. Thank you.